Hi guys, so I wanted to just talk you through in Canva how to create your own Facebook cover image so that it's displayed perfectly on both a mobile and desktop view. This is undoubtedly one of the things I see most that isn't done that great, that often when you view on mobile, text is cut off at the edges. Um, and when you think about it, I think about 60 to 70% of people look on mobile first. So you really want to make sure that your um, business Facebook banners look right. It's also one of the quickest things to make you look unprofessional if this isn't sized correctly. Now, actually in Canva, um, irritatingly, um, the pre-size they have for Facebook banners, I don't think is the right size. Um, they have it at 1640 by 924 pixels, um, but I found that sizing it by 1640 by 856 pixels works a lot better and it's something I can have searched a lot and other um, things advise doing this too. It's actually double the recommended size of 820 by 360, but I don't know if you've ever noticed when you've tried to work at that size and then you upload the banner to Facebook, it looks a bit grainy and a bit low res. So I actually double the pixel size um, just so that I can get um, the best resolution um, background image possible when it, once it's displayed um, on the page. So what I'm going to do, then this template I will share with you guys and um, the link to it so you can copy it and use it yourself um, and what I'm going to do is explain exactly what areas you see on the desktop and which areas you see on um, mobile. Now this is the banner size here in full and on um, mobile there's it actually displays it slightly deeper so you see this full um, height and it cuts off this part here and this part here which is often why you see text cut off at either side and then when you're on a desktop um, it's actually slightly narrower in size but wider so basically what you want to do is make sure that your design is always within this safe zone um, now what I've done is I've just added some guides now you can get your guides by going up to file um, and show rulers and what this does is allow you to move um, and show guides and how where you need your guides to be is, is at 180. Um, now also to get the correct size what I did on here um, for the rulers is I have um, went to elements and I've went to shape Oops. and I selected the rectangle which I have then used the pixel guide to go to 180 what? and that's then allowed me to know where to place my ruler as a guide so that I know what edges cut off and then I've done the same when it's 40 pixels tall that's what I've then dragged down to the bottom and then it allows me to move a ruler into place just so that I can see what area I've got to work with. So safe zone here um, is where you want all your design to go. Now also to remember just because a template is on Canva doesn't mean that it's designed correctly and what I'm going to mean by that is um, lovely picture of me, um, if I upload this picture as is in this area once you get to publish then what's going to happen is half my face is going to get cut off when you look at it on mobile and that's all you're going to see so basically any text you place in these two areas is going to be cut off when you view it on mobile and i've just inserted some templates that are available on Canva that are Facebook banners but they are not um, designed with, with this visibility here. So if you click on here you can see the guides here. Again this area would get cut off and as you can see 
you're then missing half your letters. What also it does is at the other side it cuts off the logo, which isn't great if you're a visitor onto their page and half their logo is missing. Now again, the, the ultimate thing is here is you want to look professional, you want your graphics to look as perfect as possible, and what you don't want is only half your logo getting displayed on your on your banner. Um, here's one that's done well. Um, this one has all the text within the safe zone. The only thing I would do here is I would actually reduce this down a wee bit so that it's not quite meeting the edge when it's on the desktop. Again, this one's done fine. This has got all the details centred in the middle so that everything's definitely in a safe zone. I'll just to show you mine. I just updated this weekend and I've made sure that all my details are in the safe zone and this one as well. So it's really just to show you that these templates are great in Canva, but they are not always perfect either. So just make sure when you're designing things that how you look at how they're best going to be used and in what space they're going to be used. So I hope that helps explain about safe zones um, for your Facebook banner. I'm sure you've all sensed that frustration when you've been designing some for ages and you keep uploading it to Facebook and text gets getting cut off. So hopefully with this guide, um, that then you'll know exactly where to design your um, graphics. If you want to have a go and then upload um, for me to have a look at and give you some advice then please feel free to do that. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you.